Hey everyone, in my previous video I gave you an overview of selling on Amazon and how Amazon FBA works. Now, in this video I show you the steps of finding a profitable product to sell on Amazon. The first step is to decide on what's your interest and passion. I think it's essential to find the niche and market you are interested in. Having an interest and enthusiasm for something helps you sell the product much more comfortable. You want to think about the bigger picture and be the brand around your product. However, it's not just about the money, it's about serving people. So ask yourself, how can you add value to your customers? Ask yourself what your passion is. For instance, do you like hat or sports and outdoors or toys and games? If you go to the Amazon bestseller list, you can find different category ideas to choose one that you like the most. You can see the different categories on the left side of this page. Firstly, you need to find the niche. There are three ways you can use to find the product. Let's say you figured out your passion not about cooking, so you choose the kitchen and dining market. Now let's see what the different ways you can do to select your product are. The first way is to use the Amazon website. Go to Amazon.com and log out from your account. Click in the search bar and enter the minus symbol and then at least eight characters like this. Then click all on the left and select the category you choose previously. In our example it's kitchen and dining. Hit search and you got a list of potential products. You are ready to create a list of products you like. The second way is to use the bestseller list. Go to the Amazon bestseller list. I put the link down below in the description. Click the category you have choose previously on the left side, like kitchen and dining. And kitchen and dining. Okay, here are some product ideas that you may like. Now you are ready to create a list. Finally, the third way is to use Google. Go to google.com and type in your category plus the word products. For example, kitchen and dining products. Then you will find lots of websites where you can see product ideas. So collect ideas and create a list. The second step is to narrow down your list. Once you have at least 10 to 20 products on your list, more is better, you can start narrowing down your list. It's important to check out the competition of the products as well. You can do this by typing the product keyword in the search bar and check the top products. It's a very time consuming process, but Django Scout will make your life easier when you are looking for a product to sell on Amazon. This software will help you do all the research you need to find a profitable product. So let's say I want to sell Mm, let's say a portable blender. I type in the keyword portable blender and hit search. I don't need to go through all this product one by one. I click on the Jungle Scout icon and I got all the sales data immediately. So it's an essential tool when it comes to finding a profitable product. Because the next step is to check the requirements that you need to use if you are going to find a profitable product. You need to use these criteria when you test the top products for a keyword. The BSR is the bestseller rank. The lower BSR means more sales and more competition. So try to find products that have a BSR range between 300 to 20,000. The price range. The price range should be between 17 to 70 dollar. If you choose an expensive product, your profit margin will be higher, but the manufacturing cost will also be higher. A cheaper product means that your first inventory order will be more reasonable, but your profit margin will also be lower. The size and weight. 
you don't want to select an oversized product as your first product. The Amazon oversized limit is 18 inches by 14 inches by 8 inches. The weight should be lower than 5 pounds. If you choose a small and lightweight product, your shipping cost will be lower. Then reviews. You want a product that has a competition with fewer reviews. In the beginning, it's challenging to compete with other sellers who have a lot of reviews. People will buy the one with more reviews. Try to find a product where the competition has 1000 reviews or less. And the product line. Think about your next product. Is it possible to build a brand around this product and sell other products under this brand name later? If you use Jungle Scout, it helps to look at the Amazon bestseller rank, reviews and sales data. As a result, it's a more comfortable and faster process as you don't need to open up every product and check the information. And finally, you need to choose a model. I think the most profitable model is private labeling. It means that you don't need to invent a brand new product and manufacture it. Therefore, you only need to find a supplier who produces that product and put your label and packaging on it. I recommend Alibaba.com. Go to the search bar and type in your keyword. Then hit search. Then in the supplier types, you want your suppliers to be verified supplier and you also want your supplier to provide trade assurance, which is a protection for you. Warning, if you want to sell a product that goes into your body or on your body, you should find an American seller clarify it's not recommended to use Alibaba for this type of product. After that, you're ready to find a supplier for your product. If you'd like to see a tutorial from me about choosing a supplier, leave a comment below and I will create one. Then if you have the product you want to sell, I recommend buy a few products on Amazon from your competitors to see what they are doing to stand out. It also helps when you are evaluating your samples because you know what to look on a product. It helps to understand what leads to success. Finally, Amazon FBA means fulfillment by Amazon. It means that Amazon handles everything for you from storing your product to shipping to the customers and even, even did they do customer service. So I highly recommend Amazon FBA. Before you order your inventory, Calculate your shipping cost as well and compare it with your budget. You need the exact way to calculate your shipping cost. A small and light product can be shipped by air, which is much faster than shipping by the ocean. You also need to calculate the Amazon seller fees. Amazon will take a certain percentage for storage and shipping your product to the customers. Again, small items are cheaper. Now, in the next video, I will talk about saving money and starting this business with little money. So be sure to subscribe and if you like this video, hit the like button below and leave a comment and let me know if you have any question. But see you guys in the next one. Bye.